Hi, it's Dana Horachowski, February the 17th, 2010. I hope you guys are all doing well. I've been out of uh, the scene for a bit, lots to tell you about. And uh, I'm just going to start with um, kind of going over uh, February 1st to the 14th, and then I'm going to go over 15th to the 22nd. And uh, hopefully you get uh, this information. I do have a camcorder, uh, but the picture on it is very dark. This is very bright and it's going on at the same time. So I'd like to use the laptop uh, webcam because it's quick. Uh, YouTube cuts me off after 10 minutes and uh, I can upload it right away. Okay, I'm just looking at the other one and it's very dark. So I'm sorry for those that don't like the slow shutter speed on this, but uh, you can always send me a nice camcorder. Um, you know, I'm available. Just email me. I'll give you my address. And you can send it along, and I'll uh, appreciate it for. Uh, I'll appreciate you for it. Anyway, um, I put the uh, CanadaStreetNews.com. Very interesting stuff coming down. Uh, I want to uh, stress there is uh, a concern with uh, the New World Order agenda. Remember, this is a faction that came out of the Roman Empire. It's a white Aryan supremacist um, takeover. And I've been contacted by the false prophet, uh, Michael Noel Prescott. And the emails are on uh, uh, www.scribed.com forward slash JR Genius. And also February the 14th to the 21st, oh, sorry, 1st to the 14th issue on CanadaStreetNews.com. Um, so he was a little upset that I posted his email address. Mind you, I'm a little upset that he is working with uh, Queen Elizabeth and also uh, John Cavalier, uh, who's also a vampire, and uh, Wes Penry and Steve Wilner. So these Wes is doing the, I think he does the Illuminati News, and uh, Steve Wilner is doing the videos. His voice sounds very familiar, so um, I would definitely put up some red flags as to um, any other things that he was teaching you before because I'm pretty sure he was sold out, bought out. Um, the emails that I have posted, uh, Sangrelian also, she sent me the emails. She was contacted to, they wanted to make her the Lilith, the Whore of Babylon. Um, they have Hathor, uh, they're, they're calling themselves Messiah. Uh, Yeshua HaMashiach would not treat women like whores would not recommend that everybody take a chip and be bowed down to and glorified. These people are, this, these entities are off planet. They have human, they look human, but they are, are either, these people have been soul scalped or whatever, but uh, their agenda is not um, holy, not, well, not whatsoever. So I'm urging you to do that. Uh, last, as soon as I got the email from uh, Michael Noel Prescott, um, the, all, I think I had every single psychic vampire trying to attack me. So on the 15th to the 22nd, I have posted on how to raise your vibration. Uh, reptilian agendas, dark entities, demons do not like uh, when you have your heart chakra open. That's why I've got my crystal back on my chest because it keeps my heart chakra activated. Um, singing does that. Active loving does that. Um, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of techniques and sounds and colors and and um, cleansing that you need to go through in order to do that. You are all accountable. This New Age agenda, and people are calling me New Age. New Age is these are these ascended masters, is this Luciferian takeover of this New World Order where everybody has to bow down to this supreme Rockefeller Ra. It's the sun. It's a solar cult. It's the dark side of the sun. So um, they are wanting you to bow down to him. Um, narrow is the gate that leads to salvation. And uh, I know my scripture enough people are saying that, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I went through the Roman Catholic Church. I spent time in the fundamental Christian church. I'm ashamed of myself because I elevated myself as to being better than everybody else. These things are run by money and mind control, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is doing a series of um, healing um, modalities, probably where my camcorder can get some better light, so people don't bitch at my uh, my recordings. I mean, there's so much coming down, and you have to look at you know what I'm wearing or what I'm talking about. Shallow materialism is what's going to keep you trapped in this new world order agenda. If you are worshiping the 3D materialism, you're not going to make it. 
those that are in their heart or a higher vibration, we'll, we will be switching channels, okay? You'll be in a 5D, new world. Um, look at the, uh, I don't even know how to say it's the, um, the Celtics. When they disappeared, it's the Thutha de, de, de Nun. That is the original uh, Celtic tradition. They were the Holy Grail line. It's called the Thutha de Danan. And the link is, if you go to the top of Canada Street News, it's the Angelic Clan of Ancient Ireland. When Atlantis sunk, um, these guys, and they were Aryan, they were white, uh, they found their way onto these lands, and uh, they had the Adamus wisdom, the, the secret society of the original gods that came to give it to us. Remember, you had Ea and Anki. Go to the Terra Papers. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's this huge uh, Orion-Syrian struggle that's going on right now. So, um, they were the ones that kind of disappeared. They're the fairy folk and the elfin folk that um, that you that people in 3D don't see because they're invisible, but they have another dimension. If your heart is activated and you are pure in spirit, you're sexually moral, you, you're you have a clean heart. This is what Yeshua taught. This is the this is the Grail teaching, is that you must be pure of spirit in order to enter the gate of heaven. If you get microchipped, they have your soul. If you pledge allegiance to Lucifer through Masons, free, Freemasonry, they hold a knife to your throat. Uh, you're giving access to Lucifer. I've given a detail on who Yal de Boa is, and uh, also I found uh, you have to go look at Jordan Maxwell. Um, Dawn of a New Day, that's the solar cult takeover. Uh, this is the wide gate, and a lot of people will be uh, bribed, materialistically bribed into going into this. And uh, that's the New World Order faction. That is the Ascended Masters. That's the Metatron crap that's coming in. Those are the, the men that are shape-shifting in angelic realm. They look good, but um, they're actually uh, demons in disguise. They're just wearing this cloaking. We don't see it because it's a 3D holograph, okay? So that's what's coming in. The narrow gate is the one that is, it's come, your kingdom is in your heart. It's not in the churches where you have to bow down to some goof like Benny Hinn or John Hagee. I've been there. I have all their tapes. I've wasted a lot of my money on a lot of their books and crap. They are published freely through the Jesuit uh, bookstores. Uh, anything that's suppressed, I'm definitely looking at more into, and I will be doing an in-depth study on... Uh, uh, the Gnostic Christianity, because that's that's what got wiped out before. That's when the Romans came in, the Romans, the sun gods. Again, they came in because they are very jealous of the human soul, the human spirit. Remember the uh, children of the feather? They are the ones that have the passion. That is the indigenous races, the, uh, um, uh, the original Hebrews, which were dark-skinned, not these white Ashkenazi Jews that came out of uh, the Caucasus Mountains and uh, in Europe. This is an alien invasion, an Orion faction, probably from the Hollow Earth, because those are all the Aryan bloodlines that are down there. I can see myself that I'm running. Oh, I've got a bit of time. Good. So, Jordan Maxwell goes into that. I know he's Illuminati because he did the uh, the secret handshake with Sitchin. I don't trust all of Sitchin's work. That's why I'm sticking to Robert Morningsky now. Uh, his work, he has been suppressed. I hope he's still alive. I'm, I hope you're protected. And uh, Michael Tessarian also talks about this uh, sun worship, the monotheism. And this is what's coming back. This raw faction with this Marduk raw faction, the supreme Rockefeller, the raw shields, the fair raws, all this stuff is coming back to soul scalp you. Your micro, the microchip will soul scalp you. FEMA camps, well, apparently, according to uh, Bobby Hemet, Hemet, um, right under, it's, it's in the uh, 15th to the 22nd issue. Uh, part one kind of gives you a background on how the black race and the indigenous race has been tortured and uh, totally wiped out because of this white supremacy race. Remember, vampires are white-skinned. This is uh, Yaldaboa, Yaldaba, you can also call him Yahweh, Zeus, you're giving them different names on who this, this goof is that you're supposed to bow down and worship. Remember, um, a goddess a Sophia, this is Sophia, that's the one that was suppressed. This is the one that the Gnostic Christians knew about as to what was really going on. That's why they got wiped out. She gave birth to this 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 half piece of garbage uh, abortion who claimed himself the one and only God. And then he created man. She gave the light to man because he was wreaking havoc. He created all these different planets. The Saturnalia cult, which is the Jewish, uh, the not it's the Zionist.